Hey everyone, I figured I would start this video off a little different based on the topic, so hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed putting it together. So I'm sure many of you are probably aware using artificial intelligence or AI as a tool to help with a variety of ideas has been a very popular discussion this year. For some time now, I wanted to see how I might be able to use AI to help with some of my projects, but also see where it falls short. So I decided to see if AI could help me create a device that would allow me to check the water level in my rain barrels from my smartphone. When I asked the AI for a DIY solution, to my surprise, the AI mentioned two potential sensors for detecting water level, but I had never heard of them. So I looked them up on Amazon and I noticed that other people were using them for similar applications. So I decided to go ahead and purchase one of the sensors the AI recommended for the project. So far, this AI tool appeared to be working well. Since I have some experience with programming, I knew somehow I would need some type of computer or microprocessor that would act as the brain between the sensor and my smartphone. In the past, while looking up water level related topics, I briefly saw a few people using a microprocessor called Arduino as the central brain that would help them check water levels. So I decided to ask AI more information about Arduino boards and whether or not it would be a good fit for this application. Keep in mind, I had never worked with Arduino microprocessors before, so I had a lot of questions for AI regarding this potential solution. After about two to three minutes of talking back and forth with AI, AI had given me enough information about what Arduino microprocessor to use and why to use it. After quickly fact checking some of the information, I went ahead and purchased the recommended Arduino board off Amazon. Everything was going great so far, but I still had no idea how to program this Arduino board, nor what software to use. Since I knew this was a very popular Arduino microcontroller, I figured it would be quicker to find an Arduino for dummies type of video to help me get up to speed. Thankfully, YouTube channel Programming Electronics Academy created a 90 minute video that did just that. But even though I knew some of the basics, I still had to figure out how to integrate the sensor with the Arduino board and how to output this information to my smartphone. I first asked AI to write me some code specifically for the sensor it recommended for the Arduino board I had purchased. I then scanned over the code the AI provided and even though some of this was foreign to me, I could still somewhat comprehend some of the code since the board uses a programming language I studied in school. So I copied AI's code and made the necessary changes it recommended and then successfully uploaded the code to my Arduino board. Everything was working great so far until I got to the part where I needed AI to help me send to my smartphone the amount in percentage form of how much water is left in my rain barrels. This really wasn't the fault of AI, but it's important to know the knowledge cutoff for the AI I was using is September 2021. So if there were any changes made after this date to the platforms I wanted to use for this project, AI would provide out of date information. So when I went to try some of the code the AI provided for the smartphone part of this project, or when I tried to design the smartphone app using the instructions from AI, it failed completely since the instructions it gave were out of date. So this forced me to use my other tools, which are good old Google and YouTube to help me figure out how to finish the rest of the project. Throughout the week, I dabbled a little more off and on with the project, trying different solutions I had found online and tweaking them for my needs. I also tested and temporarily installed the water level detection sensor in my rain barrel system. Since this was more of an experiment and since I wasn't sure if this would be the best solution, I figured I would not make any major changes to my rain barrel setup for this install. I would say after investing 10 to 15 hours on this project, I had what appeared to be a working solution that not only showed me the water level on my smartphone, but also whether or not it would rain in the next few days in my area and a way to see the water level trend on a chart. I was very pleased with how everything turned out and even more excited for how quickly I was able to get this completed. After a few days, I did notice one issue with the sensor AI recommended, which was if enough condensation or water vapors accumulated on the face of the sensor, it would give you false readings. 
After asking AI for solutions about the issue, it did provide some potential ideas that appear to help, but only time will tell. But even though AI has some limitations, it helped me with at least 50 to 60% of this project. So I'll probably use AI off and on in the future, but it's important to know that AI at the moment is not 100% accurate, and it's still important to do your own research. I look at AI as just another tool in my tool bag, but just like my other tools, they all have a special purpose and none of them can replace all the tools. I'm curious to hear your thoughts about AI in the comments below. I know I didn't even touch the surface of what AI can do in this video, but it was definitely a fun experiment. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.